Yeah, I just want to make a quick video on my solar backup system. I made a small upgrade to it. These are the original batteries, the two 100 amp hour. And now I added a Power Queen 200 amp hour. This one has a 200 amp BMS. So now I have a total of five kilowatt. And, and this is the pure sine wave inverter that I had originally. And it works fine for anything up to 1500 watt. I can use it with a air fryer, rice cooker, water boiler. So they work okay. And I upgraded the wiring. Now I have these two odd cables going to the inverter. These are just cables I got from Home Depot. I don't recommend these if you use, if you plan to uh, use your batteries in a, in a car or a RV, because if your battery support is not solid, then these are very inflexible. So for my purpose, say okay. So I have these all in an unheated garage and these batteries don't really have low temperature disconnect. So I've been thinking about ways of protecting them. So when I first got the battery, I just left the battery in the foam insulation. So this ought to protect it for a couple of degrees. So maybe when the winter comes, I'll wrap it in some insulation. Same thing for these two. But for a more uh, or better protection, I was thinking of using the thermostat here to make a disconnect for the charger. So right now I'm using the thermostat to power a fan. So the fan cools the lithium ion batteries that I have. This is another system. So the fan turns on about 26 degrees. So this is the 1209. Uh, thermostat. This type of thermostat is used in incubators in anything you need to turn on or turn off. I use it in my 3D printer as well to turn on a heating or heated bed and the same thing I plan to use in the winter. So the charging wire, I'll just run it through the thermostat here. So this relay is good for 14 volt and uh, 20 amp. So my system is kind of small, so most of the time I see uh, six to 10 amp usually. So this should be sufficient. So I can set the temperature at about 30 degree Fahrenheit to disconnect and reconnect at about 32 degrees. So this would be my uh, cold weather protection for these batteries. So you won't be charging them below freezing. Actually, to tell you the truth, these batteries, these are lithium ion batteries. I have left them alone last winter uh, in freezing condition. Although inside the garage it will be a few degrees warmer than the outside. But still, uh, I had no problems with them going, going bad. So I don't really anticipate a uh, problem for these batteries in the winter. Maybe when the weather gets to be in the teens and 
I might have to worry a little bit but if I set it up so the charging will stop when it is below 30 degrees then I think these should be protected now if you have a charger uh, that has a much bigger capacity like a 40 amp or 60 amp you can use the same thermostat but use a different relay you can buy those automotive relay 400 i mean a 40 amp to 60 amp to 200 amp you can control it with the thermostat but this is a little slightly more complicated whereby with my small system i can just control it with this small relay here so this is just 12 gauge wire but it can handle up to 20 amps so yeah and in the winter uh, when the sun comes up the sun won't be charging your battery at full force it'll start charging very slowly maybe uh, 500 milliamp and then goes up to an amp depending on you know where and where the sun comes up and then it will gradually the amperage will gradually move up so that's why I don't think the batteries will be damaged when the batteries are charging it will generate a little bit of heat to warm itself up so this that's just my theory so you, you do it at your own risk and uh, get some protection whether it be insulation or a disconnect so you don't have to buy a fancy M MPPT charger uh, that's like $300 this one here is $30 and this PWM it has 10% less efficiency than the MPPT but hey it's one tenth the price of a Victron uh, charge controller so I'm trying to do it on the cheap everything is kind of cheap but this seems to work and yeah um, I'll come back in the winter to show you how this is being set up. It's basically, like I said, just run your charging positive through this connection here. Go in and go out and the relay here will disconnect it when the temperature drops. It's all done automatically, like the fan that is being run for cooling now. All right, so uh, that's my small upgrade for my solar backup system, five kilowatt. And inside the house, I have the Echo Flow. I have another two kilowatt that will be for the boiler and for the other lighting uh, necessities. All right. Uh, Thanks for watching. Work it a couple more times. <laughs>